attention to the Activision stage for a live performance showcasing Guitar Hero 5. Alright, thank you guys. Thank everyone for coming. So you're going to see Guitar Hero 5, and one of the biggest things we wanted to do for Guitar Hero 5 was allow you to use any instrument combination. So you'll see people using uh, multiple guitars, multiple drums. Uh, you can play four guitars, four drums, four basses, four vocalists, or any combination in between. Um, we also wanted to really just remove the barriers to getting in and just playing good music. So what we did is we created a mode called Party Play. Now Party Play allows you to create a playlist of up to 128 songs. Now we have 85 songs on disc and there's over 150 in the music store uh, downloadable content from Guitar Hero World Tour already that will be compatible with Guitar Hero 5. So you make your playlist and then you can just turn it on. It's just, now it's the background music for your party. So anyone can just walk up. You'll see this, the performance. It's a nice, like, you know, the stage show. There's lights. The, the characters are on stage. It's, it's literally the stage show with a play now button. You push one button, you jump right in. The highway pops up. The music never stops. Other people can join you. They can drop in, drop out, and you'll get a good demonstration of this in just a minute. This is perfect for parties, but we also have a, a couple of new modes. We have a lot of competitive modes in the game. Yeah. So these are modes like Momentum, where if you miss three notes, it drops you down a difficulty level, so your highway slows down. You can play this with four guitars, and then when you hit 20 notes in a row, your difficulty will go back up. And so there's a lot of new modes like that. Uh, we call it Rock Fest. Note that's where you can play up to eight players head to head or in different teams. We also have, I think it's our most diverse soundtrack ever with Guitar Hero 5. Like I said before, there's 85 songs on disc. We got some of the biggest bands out there. Um, we got Tom Petty, which we're going to demo for you, uh, Elton John. Uh, we have uh, Bob Dylan, Rolling Stones. We have metal like Children of Bodom and Darkest Hour. Uh, we have um, Stevie Wonder. We have uh, Arctic Monkeys, White Stripes, even the Dire Straits are in the game. So we've got a really diverse soundtrack. The career mode's been expanded as well. Uh, we have uh, eight, uh, all the songs in the game, all 85 songs. They each have their own unique challenge associated with it. So those challenges might be score 100,000 points in star power, or um, you know it could be whammy for 90 seconds. And so it really adds an extra level of replayability to the career mode. And each of those challenges unlocks something. Uh, just a couple other uh, enhancements I want to talk about before we get to the demo. Uh, now, if somebody uh, fails in the game, in career, or in quick play, then the band revival meter comes up, and it's up to the rest of the band to play well and fight the crowd. The crowd will be booing, the meter will be going down. They have to pull that meter and peg it, and if they peg the meter, then that player gets brought back and can join the band again. So um, a couple other things, we have um, Star Power is no longer a shared resource in band play. Uh, it is something now that's individual to each, unique, each player's highway. And we have new band moments. So if you see gems coming down that are flaming on fire, you hit those and you get a big band multiplier. Pyro goes off and everything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna now introduce the, uh, the Neversoft band. And we're going to have uh, Anthony, and we're going to be playing Running Down a Dream by Tom Petty, and Anthony on lead guitar. All right, Anthony. <laughs> Oh. 
September 1st on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, the Wii, and the PlayStation 2. So, thank you. All right.